James O'Keefe has done it again. He obtained internal communications from executives in IBM, one of their video conferences, including the CEO, an Indian American named Irvind Krishna, admitting that they have a systemic anti-whiteism problem within the company, that they are incentivizing managers not to hire white people, and in fact, penalizing them by withholding their bonuses or threatening to fire them if they do. And even better, a very special law firm now is involved in pressuring the Equal Opportunity Employment Commission within the Justice Department to, well, sue them for discrimination. But first, today is the last day I'm told to order any of my shirts at markdays.com. Be sure to get them in time for Christmas using regular shipping. So don't be a slacker. Get your orders in today for your Trump Claus sweatshirt or your Wonderful President Trump mugshot shirt. Conspiracy Theorist Right shirt, Ultra MAGA, Operation Mockingbird shirt, any of my awesome designs. And get 20% off this week by using the promo code SANTA at the checkout. Linked in the description below. James O'Keefe, who founded Project Veritas back in 2010, I believe, was forced out earlier this year after the board of directors said that he ate some staff member sandwich and he wasn't nice enough to the staff, as you may recall. And so he started his own investigative journalist organization called OMG, the O'Keefe Media Group, which has been doing, well, the same exact thing that Project Veritas did because James O'Keefe is Project Veritas. More on them in a moment, but here is the latest OMG investigation. Now, these videos are from 2021, but James just got them. They just surfaced, and like I said, wait for it, because <laughs> looks like there's going to be an investigation into IBM by the Justice Department for discrimination because of this. So we take underrepresented and gender. You got to move both forward by a percentage. That leads to a plus on your bonus. By the way, if you lose, you lose part of your bonus. I'm not trying to finesse this. So for blacks, we should try to get towards 13 point something percent. On Hispanics, you got to get into the mid-teens. So let me say it. Asians in the U.S. are not an underrepresented minority in a tech company. James O'Keefe here outside of IBM's corporate headquarters in Armonk, New York. An IBM insider has provided us with an internal video showing the CEO of IBM, Arbin Krishna, using coercion to fire people and take away their bonuses unless they discriminate in the hiring process. Let me go deeper in the Red Hat. Multiple leaders over... Red Hat, by the way, is a subsidiary of IBM. The last year plus that were held accountable to the point that they're no longer here at Red Hat because they weren't willing to live up to the standards that we set in this space. This conversation takes place every single day and in a lot of it's behind the scenes. They terminated executives that didn't discriminate yet another violation of Title VII. One of the biggest companies in the world, one of the most valuable and recognizable brands on earth. Yes, and one of the major brands that pulled their advertising from Twitter, X, after Elon Musk admitted the obvious, that the ADL is often on the forefront of spreading anti-whiteism. And so he commented on James O'Keefe's report, calling it obviously illegal, responding directly to James, where he had posted the video on X, saying extremely concerning and obviously illegal. But wait, there's more. Stephen Miller's law firm, the America First Legal Foundation, sent a demand letter to the U.S. Equal Employment Opportunity Commission saying, in part, uh, the America First Legal Foundation is a national nonprofit organization working to protect the rule of law, due process, and equal protection for all Americans. We write, pursuant to 29 CFR, that's the code that they're uh, violating, seeking assurance of a commissioner's charge for an inquiry into individual or systemic discrimination by International Business Machines Corporation, IBM, and when the chairman of the IBM subsidiary, Red Hat, here admitted that the conversation takes place every single day and a lot of it behind the scenes, he was admitting that he knows what they're doing is illegal. And despite them tipping their cards and admitting it privately, they're a lot more explicit about their anti-whiteism and anti-Asian practices. And in order to avoid getting sued for what is obvious discrimination, the dean of Berkeley's law school recommended that people do it anyway, but just don't say that's why you're hiring someone or why you're not hiring someone. And especially he doesn't want them to send anything in an email so there's no evidence so that if there is an inquiry about discrimination, then there won't be any documentation, any admission of, well, the blatant anti-whiteism. What I mean by unstated affirmative action is, what if the college or university doesn't tell anybody 
doesn't make any public statements, but still wants to. But still wants to do it, he said. I'll give you an example from our law school, but if ever I'm deposed, I'm going to deny I said this to you. Um, when we do faculty hiring, we're quite conscious that diversity is important to us. And we say diversity is important. It's fine to say that. But I'm very careful when we have a faculty appointments committee meeting. Anytime somebody says, you know, we should really prefer this candidate over this candidate because this person would add diversity, don't say that. You can think it. You can vote it. But our discussions are not privileged. So don't ever articulate that that's what you're doing. Well, that works more easily with regard to faculty hiring. You know, come to think of it, James O'Keefe uncovered some systemic anti-whiteism at Best Buy earlier this year, back in August, when he revealed that they have a leadership training program that excludes white people. And since Project Veritas forced James O'Keefe out of the very organization that he founded and built over a decade, nobody has paid any attention to what they have done. I don't know if they've done anything, because like I said, James O'Keefe was Project Veritas, but it turns out back in September, they laid off a bunch of workers and paused fundraising, the new CEO said, which I'm sure the fundraisers were paused because who would donate any money to Project Veritas when you could just donate that money to James O'Keefe, who continued to do fantastic work while Project Veritas has done um, nothing. And yesterday, the new Project Veritas CEO, <laughs> I don't know how you can be a CEO of an organization that does absolutely nothing, but she finally quit and claimed that it was because there was strong evidence of past illegality and past financial improprieties, which they tried to blame on James for spending too much money on Ubers. Seriously, that was what they said. Too much money on Ubers. So with the way things are going, with Owen Schroyer being sentenced to prison for questioning the outcome of the 2020 election and Douglas Mackey being sentenced to seven months in prison for posting a meme, I wouldn't be surprised if a New York DA indicts James O'Keefe claiming that he committed supposed fraud because that's what happens in a Marxist country. They target any political opponent and anybody who is causing problems for the regime. Project Veritas hasn't posted anything on their YouTube channel for over a month. They haven't posted anything on Twitter, X, for over a month. And so it looks like the organization is effectively toast. They probably spent their remaining few dollars on a 12-pack of Bud Light, and they won't be missed. Bye-bye. One thing that will be missed, however, is saving 20% off of any of my shirts at markdice.com. If you don't order today, slackers. So order your Trump Claus sweatshirt or t-shirt, your wanted for president Trump mugshot shirt, your conspiracy theorist for right shirt, Operation Mockingbird shirt, Ultra MAGA, F Joe Biden, Dare to Re-elect Trump, the classic liberalism, find a cure, or any of my awesome designs, all available in a t-shirt, long sleeve, and a hoodie, and a whole bunch of different colors as well. And like I said, I was told today is the last day. It may stretch out to be tomorrow, but they said to do the cutoff today, to tell you it was today, to get your orders in, to make sure that you can get them in time for Christmas using regular shipping. So head on over to markdice.com or click the link in the description below. Enter the promo code SANTA to save 20% off and check them out.